top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for November 10th, 2020. So, hey everyone, um, I apologize. Yesterday I had no power. We had a windstorm come through um, Nebraska, changing temperatures dramatically. And um, it knocked out power for a period of time and I was unable to get the morning blog and morning market prep video out. So I apologize for that. Let's see if we can make up for that this morning. Yesterday we had a major pop um, in the market as you guys uh, uh, I'm sure all witnessed um, tremendous moves um, after um, very, very favorable um, and hopeful virus news, um, or, or excuse me, vaccine news came out. And the market just sighed a relief, big relief, and hoping for a recovery um, in the future here on um, those COVID-related issues that are affecting and impacting businesses all over the world. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we take a look at uh, the price action in these charts, take a look at the technicals, grab yourself something to drink, let's settle in and get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we have some interesting price action here on the chart to deal with. First off, let's take a look. Big, big historic gap yesterday. Um, massive historic gap. gap. Um, the biggest in, in market history as we launched higher on that news of a, um, a Pfizer um, vaccine that is producing a 90% positive result in their third um, third trials on the drug. So very hopeful news. Now the CEO says that it would be uh, probably second to third quarter next year before the, the drug would be widely available. So keep in mind, we still have a long haul ahead of us with coronavirus numbers continuing to surge around the country. But let's take a look at what this means technically in our charts. Well, first off, let's notice right in here, we have broken that downtrend here in the Dow. So broke that substantially, created new record highs in the Dow. That means we have placed ourselves some potential support levels right in here course right in here and right down here um, is possible in that price action so yesterday's big ugly pop and drop we're trying to get some bullish price action in here this morning as you can see today's candle here on the Dow is trying to lift higher unfortunately right now that is the only index trying to lift higher in the market they're trying to recover um, and looking at about a 200 point gap up this morning. But let's be really, really careful remembering we have a pretty substantial gap below that could be filled and that creates some substantial risk for anyone um, trying to jump in. But at the same time, we've got this bullish, that warm and fuzzy feel, that hopefulness of recovery um, in the market. So I understand that desire to want to buy um, just be really careful and choosy about the trades that you pick making sure you're planning carefully the risk in that trade let's take a look at the um, moving averages and the technicals here in the chart notice we are a long ways away from our 50-day moving average i mean a long ways away from our 50 day moving average. So that opens up that concern in this news driven market. It, we could be just one story away from dropping back in and possibly filling this gap and moving back toward a 50 day test. It's also entirely possible and everyone should consider the fact after such a big move in the market, think about how far we have come in such a short period of time that we could literally just turn it sideways here and do kind of a choppy consolidation in this area while we wait for these moving averages to try and catch up. So keep in mind that is also a possibility and plan your risk very carefully. Remember, we are still very news driven in the market. So just watch those things closely. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also huge, massive gap up. 
Unfortunately, we were unable to hold that price support here in the close, leaving behind this big, big um, concerning ca uh, candle here and that possibility that we could easily go ahead and fill this gap. Now notice we're not showing that big positive candle here this morning in the pre-market on the chart. That possibility that we could slip on back down in here, finish filling that gap on the day does seem possible. We could also find ourselves in a situation where we literally just chop around in here um, trying to um, absorb this massive uh, gap up, which means we could just find a range in here and chop around in that move. Once again, remember our moving averages are way behind here and it may take a considerable amount of time for them to even catch up to provide some support. That means there's quite a little bit of danger in this market and we could get just that next story that could gap us substantially higher or lower in the market, so plan your risk carefully. If we take a look at the NASDAQ, unfortunately the NASDAQ did not provide us that warm and fuzzy that the diamonds and the spy gave us yesterday. And as you can see, here's our downtrend in that chart. And we had broken above that downtrend, but yesterday we left behind a really ugly bearish engulfing candle here on the chart. We got news this morning that the EU has launched a antitrust suit against um, Amazon. Um, claiming they're distorting uh, retail market practices. I don't know what the whole story is, but that's having some effect here. And we saw a a um, the big techs, the big tech giants struggled yesterday trying to find buyers, though the rest of the market was surging so strongly. So this is a bit of a concern for us here today. And as you can see, NASDAQ pulling back and may soon test that 50 day moving average. Now what that says is we have a major imbalance here going on between the diamond spy and the NASDAQ indexes. That could be a result of the fact that NASDAQ um, enjoyed such a huge rally and we could be seeing that rotation from um, the big techs to more value type plays, um, a big rotation toward small caps here in this market. But be, be really cognizant of the fact that if we see some substantial selling coming in here on the queues, that could literally draw down the other two indexes um, into that gap. So watch that carefully on the day. If we can find some support off of that 50 day moving average, we're probably gonna be fine here in the NASDAQ. But if that really starts to draw down through here, could really add some pressure to those indexes trying to rally. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM enjoyed probably the best of the best yesterday, even though we left behind this big ugly black candle up here. Notice what we did is we broke through a significant level of price resistance in the chart. So pretty substantial here on that as we spiked up. And what was interesting in that is um, obviously we were unable to hold the all time highs here at the close, uh, pushing back down on the day. But please keep in mind that um, we held up pretty substantially above that support level and we're trying to show some bullishness here this morning. So IWM, what we're seeing here um, would appear to be a pretty big move toward the small caps in that hopefulness of a recovery for small business. So keep an eye on that. We may be seeing a rotation out of those big techs into more of those value uh, place where the stocks have been so overly beaten down, we may be seeing that rotation over into here. So watch that um, as this possibly could consolidate in here. Don't rule out the possibility that this could sink into that gap and fill that gap, but we're much, much stronger here on IWM. Now, please keep in mind, once again, that 50 day moving average is a long ways away. It's gonna have to really work hard to catch up here. And so this may require some choppiness, pullback consolidation in here for uh, those averages to uh, recover. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at the VIX. 
The VIX finally got its comeuppance um, here in the last couple of trading days. And we finally settled down here substantially in the VIX. But notice what we did. We broke down through that 50-day moving average. For so long, we were kind of range-bound in between that 250-day moving average. We surged on that fear, and now all of a sudden, that fear seems to have dropped out of the market. But notice what we did yesterday. We pushed down in here, and I've suggested what we need to do is we need to break this level in, in here. We need to get down... Um, in that price, um, alleviate some of that fear. But notice what we did, we left behind a little bit of a concerning pattern here, uh, bouncing right off the 500 day in the VIX, um, more of a hammer pattern, a bullish hammer pattern that would suggest fear could come back into the market and spike us back up a little bit. Now, here's what I would say in this, as long as we can maintain underneath underneath that 50-day moving average, underneath that downtrend or that uh, trend break. If we can maintain underneath here, then we still have that potential to move on lower and follow through. So watch that closely. VIX could be very telling for us here um, in the days coming up. Let's take a look as to whether we fall into the gap or if we hold that gap. Let's take a look at T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see in here, we've had a considerable amount of volatility um, in this, but we're still pushed up here in this very um, overextended um, appearance here in the chart. Um, we all know that we've rallied substantially over the last um, five days of trading, just incredible moves in the market, leaving big gaps behind. That can be okay as long as those bulls continue to defend at these areas. However, if we were to slip into that big gap of yesterday uh, drawing down, we could quickly see, see the T2122 pushing back down here. Now, remember, we can consolidate um, in the market. And if we can consolidate in the market, we could actually see a relaxation of T2122 in here over a period of time. So watch that closely. We may need a little bit of rest in the market here after such a, an historic move up um, yesterday. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar really is pretty darn light today. Not much going on in that calendar but a few things that we want to pay attention to first off we have the jobs openings report um, the job openings report will um, the consensus is suggesting a modest improvement in that jobs openings report so keep an eye on that but may not be a big market mover today and let's also take um, keep in mind that we have um, a bunch of fed speakers here on the calendar so We'll watch that closely. Um, so relatively light day on the economic calendar. On the earnings front, we have close to 90 companies reporting earnings today. And we have some notables, but those notables, um, you know, as we've kind of gotten through the bulk of um, earnings season, those notables are starting to diminish. So a few charts that we might want to pay attention to. And if you want to get the entire list, click on that link just below the title of this video, and that will send you back to the morning blog. And you can see all of the stocks that I've listed that are potentially notable. Let's take a look at um, Advance Auto maybe one of the most notable today. Um, and right now it is suggesting a move lower here um, in that chart. So take a look, there's that pre-market candle. We may be reacting lower to um, an earnings report. Let's watch that closely. And also in reaction to a significant level of price resistance here in the chart. Um, how about DOX? Now, whoops, DOX. Now this, may or may not be particularly notable, but notice that we have a price pattern in here that's kind of interesting. We're trying to break that downtrend in this chart. And in that downtrend, notice that we are pushing up this morning. So we may have got a positive response here on earnings. Now, I wouldn't want to chase a trade like that. Um, it's too far away from a stop loss. But what that means is any rest, consolidation, or pullback that could occur in here 
that holds on to support, holds on to that downtrend could set up an opportunity. So it may be worthy putting that on your list and watching a chart like that. How about um, DHI? DHI had kind of a rough day yesterday as a lot of the residential construction um, sold off pretty strongly yesterday. Um, Stay-at-home stocks um, had a pretty rough day. And as you can see, um, we've got this little downtrend here and we're trying to get a little positiveness popping in here um, on that. So watch that carefully. DHI, if I were to draw this out, is a possible head and shoulders top with a neckline right in here. So if we were to break that neckline in this, um, we could maybe expect a uh, move down and possibly all the way down into here in that chart. So watch that carefully on DHI. Let's take a look. Um, we also have Lyft on the list today. Lyft moving on higher, massive gap ups, massive openings below and we are approaching up here some resistance in the chart so let's keep an eye on that as they try to move up see how we react to that price resistance we have broken that downtrend but there's big open space here for potential moving back and forth watch out for potential profit takers coming in there as well how about uh, brks brks moving pretty substantially here today um, gapping up uh, looks like on their earnings report so Brooks Automation looking good, breaking through blue sky highs. Let's see if a rest or pullback in here can set up a nice opportunity in that chart. Worthy of a list for sure. Um, how about um, ROK? The last one I'm going to bring up this morning. ROK. Oops. There we go. ROK, you can see um, moving up nicely in a kind of a modest upside trend here on this chart, um, breaking through some price resistance levels, as you can see, holding those as support. So we have a very bullish pattern here going on. They're reporting today. Let's watch that carefully. You can see in the pre-market, we're pulling back a little bit more after that big gap up yesterday, pulling back just a little bit more. But if that can hold support in here, let's watch and see. If that can't move on and continue its upside trend here in ROK. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for the day, everyone. But if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel the video is worthy in helping you decide how to approach the market for the day, please do me a favor, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and then also please, Share that video out there on your social media feeds, whatever you choose to use, and help us continue to grow the channel. And I want to say thank you to everyone who takes the time to do that. So some stock setting up now. Remember, there's quite a little bit of danger in this market because of these big black candles that we left all over the market here. A lot of pop and drop type candles and big gaps below. So that means there's considerable danger in some of these trades. But there's some stocks I want to point out here this morning that you might want to be keeping an eye on that are doing um, relatively well. Let's take a look at um, Walmart. Now, Walmart is something that um, I, I kind of have a bias on. I've been holding this from a, a long ways ago. Um, I bought this chart all the way back here. I'm still holding this. And recently I added um, uh, to this trade and um, holding this position here. So I do have a bias. I want to be clear on that. But notice right in here, we have this little upside trend. Walmart and retail has been holding up quite well. A lot of anticipation on the Black Friday um, sales and, and all the things going on in here. And Walmart has really stepped up its competition against Amazon. So watch that closely. If we can hold in here, hold on to that trend, there is that possibility of some upside move here. Keep a close eye on that. Now, one of the stay at home stocks that did really well during COVID, um, had kind of a rough day yesterday in Roku, but let's take note here in that, in that chart that we are still holding on 
to some price support that really all we did was kind of overextend in that move and if we can hold on to this trend maybe a little rest a little consolidation in here Roku still has that opportunity that it can move on higher. Keep an eye on that. Pretty decent looking chart overall. A lot of volatility, certainly, and we're seeing quite a little bit of that. But let's watch that closely. Could still hold up in here overall. Um, might want to take a look at some of the other retailers out there. Some of them um, still holding in rising patterns, although we left behind some pretty big black candles in here. Notice this um, LB continuing to hang on in here and hold up. Now keep in mind it's going to report here on 11 to 18, so you'll want to make sure you're paying attention to those earnings reports. But if it can hold that support in here, there may be some upside opportunity in that chart. Um, one thing um, that was pretty notable yesterday is the big selling wave that came in to um, precious metals. Gold, silver had a rough day yesterday, big gap down on that move. However, if we're gonna continue to print money, I still think we need to pay attention to this chart. Now, what I would watch carefully in here is if we can recover this level of support, if we can get back up there and recover and hold. Holding onto that downtrend is one thing, but recover and hold that support. We can still see some upside opportunity in here. So let's watch that closely. It really all depends um, how these markets respond. Now, a couple places that I think everyone might want to take a look at is over toward the financials. I'm going to show you XLF, which is a, um, a financial ETF. Big move here on those financials. If we're going to get hopes of a recovery in the market, we're likely going to see these financials recover pretty well. Notice that we've broken that downtrend here on the chart, and we broke through a pretty substantial level of price resistance in the chart. Check that out all the way across there. If we can hold up here, notice they're trying to move a little bit higher this morning. These financials may begin that recovery. So watch in here if we can rest or consolidate. Look for that next opportunity to maybe catch um, that upside move in financials. And another place you may want to look is in those energy and oil sector stocks. Um, XLE is a place where I'm going to show you this morning. You could look at any all the individual stocks that make this up. But XLE and oil had this big uh, push up yesterday, big move. And notice that we have broken that whoops broken a downtrend here in that chart and we're looking substantially higher here so breaking through now i wouldn't want to suggest that you should chase this what i would say is if we can prove a, a consolidation a pullback to hold above some support levels in here then this could start this upside trend in the chart and I think everyone kind of knows that there's only so much oil out there in the world and we could see um, uh, those start to recover if we're going to get back to normalcy here in the market with these new vaccines see travel and everything else uh, starting to perk up those were also areas that you may want to check out airline industries cruise industries things like that saw a big recovery yesterday and then last but not not least, um, you may want to check out some of the small caps. There seems to be a pretty substantial move into some of the small caps here in the chart, looking for those small business recoveries beginning to occur um, in the market. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you all safety and uh, good profits. Make sure you're being careful out there, watching out for these COVID numbers that are very serious rise here in that. So let's watch that closely. As we continue to battle out this presidential election um, and the new cycle uh, around vaccines and everything just be really careful big potential moves are possible so make sure you plan your risk carefully in this market everyone have a great day i want to wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early wednesday morning